to another episode of Jacob's House of Rock. My name's Jacob, and today I've got a very different video for you guys. So if you're a regular viewer, this one's going to be a bit different. Because instead of talking about guitars and music gear, like that kind of stuff, I'm going to be talking about 5.1 speaker systems and how to get them running on your computer, your PC, whatever with speaker fill enabled so that when you're just browsing the internet, watching YouTube, doing whatever you like, you actually have audio playing through all of the speakers. Well, kind of, except for I haven't managed to get this method to work with like the central speaker. Granted, I haven't properly tried, but at least I got four of the five speakers that you'd normally have running plus the subwoofer. Let me give you some context. 5.1 speaker systems are just surround sound speaker systems. They're called 5.1 speaker systems because you have five main speakers. So you've got like a central speaker, which is this thing in my case. And you have four of these sort of speakers in my case. And that's the five speakers. And the point one just refers to a subwoofer. So like under my desk right now, I have a subwoofer. So I got these speakers ages, ages ago for really cheap from a second-hand store and I was so excited to take them home and to like get them set up with my computer system so that I could have lots of speakers around me and just enjoy surround sound while browsing through YouTube and stuff like that. And I could never get it working. The problem was, I think part, everything after Windows 7 upwards, so I'm using Windows 10, they eliminated this feature in configuring these speakers called speaker fill, which basically means that you can't have these speakers, like all the rear speakers, playing audio through them all the time. You're only going to have audio playing from your two main speakers, your normal stereo speakers, your left and your right speaker, and then you're going to have these two other speakers on either end that are just going to be dead quiet unless you're specifically watching a 5.1 enabled movie. Like a, if you're watching a DVD with 5.1 sound enabled, then they will finally wake up and work. But you can't like browse YouTube or Netflix or whatnot and enjoy 5.1 sound. However, after years of trying and, and, and changing settings and messing with my computer and reinstalling drivers and all that crap, I found a way that actually somewhat fixes this problem. It's very simple, it's not very elegant, and if you guys have a better way, do let me know in the comments below, but this is the only way I've managed to get it to work. So what I've basically done is I got an adapter, an actual physical headphone adapter, one where you can split the signal between two different headphones. So these are very gimmicky things, kind of like if you're uh, listening to music with your friends and you're both wearing a, a pair of headphones or earphones, you can actually have the adapter adapt two different sets of headphones from like one phone out output jack, a 3.5 millimeter output jack, something like that. And what I've done is I've sent the signal from the line out, the, I'll have to, I'll show this to you in more detail in a second, like I'll actually talk you through it. But basically I've got the signal that runs from the normal line out into the two speakers that are always running. I've sent that signal split between those speakers and the rear speakers. So the the other two here. So again, like I said, I have four of these ones. Two of these ones always work, the left and the right ones. But then I have the rear left and the right ones, which are on really long cables and they should be like back here or something. These ones never worked. But now I have the same signal going through them, so I've sort of artificially enabled speaker fill just because of the way I wired everything together. So let me uh, cut away and I'll actually show you how I've wired it into the back of my computer. So what you're seeing right now is my current setup as it is wired up right now with the speaker fill enabled. It's a little tricky to see. I know it's not really the best, uh, the best view and the camera is not really showing the colors as well as I would like them. So I'm sorry about that, but hopefully I can run you through it and you'll kind of understand this process by the time we're done. So, a normal 5.1 speaker system has three cables. And you're just going to have more cables if you have like a 7.1 system or more surround sound speakers, whatever. But uh, this, this video is specifically about my 5.1 system and hopefully it can help you with yours. 
So a normal one has three cables. In particular, these three cables here. They're all like... How do I do this? <laughs> they're all bunched up here. So if we get rid of these for the time being. These three here. So we've got a green one, which is this one here. This has a green lead. Right now it looks white on screen, just because the image is a bit overexposed. But trust me, this one is green. And next to it is a black cable here. And this is the orange cable. So these are your typical 5.1 speaker connections that you're going to have running out of pretty much any standard surround sound speaker system. So these are just normal 3.5 millimeter jacks on these cables, like you would have from any old headphones or earphones, so, stuff like that, They're these stereo jacks. So what normally would happen is that these, these would plug in to the back of the computer into these plugs here. So this is actually on the back of the mother motherboard of the computer. And most systems that are 5.1 enabled, that are actually designed for surround sound, are going to have corresponding plugs with the correct colors. So for example, you can see I have the orange plug here, plugged into here, and it says C slash sub, meaning center slash subwoofer. And under that, where this actual black plug is plugged into, that one is actually green. So you can't really see it because the subwoofer cable is kind of in the way. But under there, next to, in between the blue and the red one, that one is green. That's your normal left and right speaker line out. So your normal stereo speakers would be plugged into there. However, I have mine plugged in here, which I'm going to explain in a mo minute. And next to this subwoofer, we have the black plug here, which says rear a little speaker icon there. So those are my the speakers which I was having trouble getting any sound out of when I was normally just watching YouTube and stuff like that because YouTube isn't 5.1 enabled. So what I've done to actually trick the system into playing music through those rear speakers at all times is I unplugged the rear speakers and I unplugged the normal line out. And what I plugged in the place of the line out is this this weird starfish-shaped adapter. So it's just got a normal, like, 3.5 millimeter headphone cable jack that plugs into here, and that signal will travel down into this weird starfish-shaped thing. What it does is it sends the same signal through every single one of these plugs on the side. <laughs> this is to allow you to basically share your, like, headphone signal between five other people, for example, if you're like at a party or something weird, I don't know. I didn't actually need to get this one of the five plugs. This would have worked just as well with something that splits your signal between two headphones. However, this was the only one I could find at the stores. And you can typically get these from most sort of uh, stores for like between two to five dollars, depending on where you find it, or you can just buy them on eBay. Just look for earphone splitters, two-way earphone splitters. And what I've done is basically I've just randomly plugged in the line outs plug with this green one and the black one into two separate splitters off of this weird starfish and that's sending the same signal between these two so that means that while you have audio playing in the through these speakers as it normally would be you're also going to have that same audio playing through your other speakers which would normally not be running unless you had speaker fill enabled which they again got rid of in the settings in Windows 10 for some weird reason it's a bit annoying but this is the best solution I have come up with so far I know that was a little bit confusing and hard to see but what I will do is I will make a little diagram of like before and after and put that up on screen now and hopefully that'll help explain it a little bit just in picture form so my ramblings can actually <laughs> make a little bit more visual sense. Hopefully that was enough to kind of explain what you physically have to do. Word of warning though, when I did this, I did run into a few issues. The main one being that when I actually unplugged the speakers while the computer was running, and then I plugged in that adapter to split the signal, the speakers just didn't work at all after that, and I had to 
just fiddle around with the settings for ages, restart the computer a couple of times, and I for the life of me can't tell you how I got them working again, but that somehow got them working again. And then they just worked, and it worked flawlessly after that. So basically I would recommend if you are doing this to shut down your computer fully first, then unplug the those two speakers and plug the jacks in to that, that uh, adapter. And then hopefully when you turn your computer back on, it'll be working flawlessly without any issues. I Again, I, I don't know how that happened. You may have to reconfigure your speakers again, but I, I tried that several several times and it didn't seem to help initially, but after a few restarts of the computer, it worked again. I don't know. Regardless, this is the best way to get around this whole 5.1 issue that I've been able to find. If you guys do have a better way of doing it, let me know, because I would love to know that. Like, if there's a third-party software out there that basically has a speaker fill option already in it that you can kind of install into your computer, then that would be really cool. I'd prefer that, because that way I could get my central speaker to actually run. So this one is the center speaker. As you saw before, it basically runs in the same cable, that same orange cable that sends the signal to the subwoofer is what sends the signal to this. Now, I don't advise you plugging in the same cable into the, like, if you have, like, a three-way splitter, like, I have a 5 way one so I could plug in the orange cable to that line out as well. I don't recommend doing that. I haven't actually tried it, but what I think would happen is that because the, it's, like, a center, center channel, it's going to kind of uh, interfere with the stereo of the... Uh, other two speakers because once you kind of try and create a mono signal that's kind of like a, an amalgamation of both stereo signals separately it kind of like uh, short circuits both stereo signals and everything becomes mono uh, if you don't understand what that means don't worry about it just don't plug the orange cable into the splitter and you should be fine but that's just something to bear in mind as well uh, electrical currents and all that, um, audio currents can be, get a little funky to try and understand, but that's ba my basic understanding of what would happen if I tried that. I don't really want to, because again, it was a bit of a pain to get this to actually work flawlessly, but I'm so happy that it does now. I now have a nice full uh, 5.1 or technically 4.1 audio and sound thing going on because of this, and I can actually watch YouTube videos and Netflix or just anything and have all of these speakers running at the same time, which I wish they just gave you that option to take speaker fill when you're actually setting up your speakers normally, but they, they, they don't have that in Windows anymore for some weird messed up reason. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope you found this helpful. If you're still a little confused and you need like a an update video or something to explain it even more, I might do that or just put a question in the comments below. Again, I'm not an expert, so if you're going to use a lot of weird technical language, I, I may just it might fly over my head and I may not be able to help you, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. That's about it for this video, guys. I hope to see you in another one of my videos. Again, I do guitar stuff and bass stuff, instrument modifications, gear reviews, uh, music reactions and reviews to stuff like that. So that's my general stuff that I do on this channel, but occasionally I'll throw in something a little different like this here. So... Yeah, if you're into this kind of thing, do like and subscribe, because that's always awesome. But yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.